Happy Monday, everyone. Hope you guys are enjoying your Monday. Uh, it's probably early if you're seeing this uh, when I post it, which is pretty early Monday morning. So I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, we got lots of great things going on over here today. I'm trying to do these uh, big sign carvers of the day every couple weeks so we can kind of get caught up. This will take us through uh, September 20th. So we're getting there, we're starting to gain a few. So we've got 30 of them here, or right around 30. Let's jump right into them. The dogs are excited, they're ready to go. Here we go. Don, Don Side, I think it's pronounced Sigil. This one is really cool, I just think it's so cool. A big piece of pine, I don't know what size it is, but uh, Don, you really killed it. Very good. Very nice. All right, next, very first sign from Steve Bullock. First sign, and this is 22 by 48. This is for his daughter, and he used uh, the profile bit and the 90, which is pretty much what I do for uh, outset letters and background. Great job, Steve. For a first sign, excellent, great job. Spiro, I'm not even gonna try the last name. <laughs> But uh, Spiro, this is his fifth sign, and uh, go Vikings. I love it. Uh, very ambitious for early on, only your fifth sign. Great job, Spiro. Great job. Am I shaking it too much? Feels like I'm shaking it. Rudy Molina. All right, so Rudy, man, uh, terrific job, Rudy. You, got, you and Kat are just doing some great stuff over there. Just beautiful detail. I love the shape. I love everything about it. Great job, Rudy. Keep up the great work, buddy. Stephen Mary Nasby. Back in, gosh, where are the Nasbys from? Uh, back east, like mm -hmm. Illinois or something. Can't remember, Arkansas maybe. Anyway, so Steve does the carving and Mary does the artwork and the painting. Great job on that largemouth bass there. Terrific work, you guys. Love it. All right, Lee Harrington, another first group of signs from Lee. And uh, again, really, really well done, especially for a first sign. Well, we have a phone call. We'll be right back. Okay, here's one from Mark Galler. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mark. What is that on there? A tiger? Uh... No, it actually, I, I had to look at it. This is the Patriots, the New England Patriots. This is their old logo. And the, obviously, the picture does not do it justice. This is from, a piece, uh, from an old oak table. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, anyway, uh, so he carved the Patriots logo. This is their old logo before they changed it over back in the... Steve Grogan days, that dates me. I lo I've been watching football for a while. Anyway, uh, the picture definitely does not do it justice. He sent me three or four pictures, but this is the best one that I could get that had the logo that showed the whole thing. But great job, Mark, beautiful work. Jason McGarrell. Jason, I believe is Ireland, I think. Um, these are all 15 by 13 pine. Terrific job on those uh, on those portraits. I guess that's what you would call them, huh? Clowns freaky. Yeah. <laughs> Great job, Jason. I think Jason. He. I think he uh, tunes into our Friday night. I think he's in Ireland. Um, Robert Braggs, uh, seventy years old, and now uh, he's a Vietnam vet, and this is one of his first signs. Wow. I love it. Seventy years old and starting to carve signs. How cool is that? Great job, Robert. You should be very proud. For just starting out, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Obviously, you have great attention to detail. You're gonna be a great sign carver. Great job, buddy. Zane Easley, 10 by 20. Good job, Zane. I love the color. Um, I like the font. I like everything about it. Beautiful work, Zane. So uh, this is 10 by 20 and it's reclaimed redwood. Terrific work, Zane. Gary Loeffler, Loeffner, excuse me, Loeffner, I think. 
Um, laminated poplar. This is for his first cousin's uh, excavation business. How cool is that? Terrific job, Gary. Um, man, I just can't say good, enough good stuff about that. Beautiful work. Beautiful. Oh, 36 by 48, by the way. That's, that's a big sign. Great job. Bruce Hux. He's obviously a Bulldogs fan. And he did this on a cabinet door. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think cabinet doors, guys. If you can get cabinet doors, if you can get them cheap, like they're uh, reclaimed or something, not a bad way to go. Great job, Bruce. Love it. Bert Graham, our Canuck friend from the north. So this is uh, old, uh, an old piece of cedar. And I like, the, you know what? I really like what you did here, Bruce or Bert. Um, and, uh, you know, making it rough and rustic on the edge, but leaving it natural color rather than doing it black. I think that looks really cool. He said the customer really loved it, by the way. Great job, Bert. Love it. Mike or Mikkel Borg. Well, see, I, that's what I thought. But then, you know, these are this way. So anyway, either way. Mikkel, this is the way I have it written on my notes. <laughs> He's from Lake Havasu, uh, basically a neighbor. I think it's Michael, isn't it Michael? It might be. It might be Michael uh, or Mikkel. It's probably Michael. You're probably right. So this is for uh, his fellow firefighters. Um, great job. Uh, beautiful work. I love it. Down street yeah, he's just right down the road. Uh, Brian Poor, 15th sign, and this is a wedding gift. Nice. Really nice. God, there's some really cool stuff in here. Yeah, I hope you guys are getting inspiration from this because it's sure inspiring me. Justin. Justin Hellickson. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Justin really is a talented guy. He, uh, he does a lot of uh, flags, rustic flags, which are very popular right now, but Justin really does it like the waving ones. Yeah, Justin's an uh, amazing craftsman. Robert Lasky, 26 inch round, his very first oh, sign. <laughs> is that crazy? There are some really crazy that? first That's signs. Um, 26 inch, 26 inch round, that's huge. Dang. That's really big for a round. Um, for a first sign, crazy good. Awesome job. There's some really talented people in here. Great job, Robert. Gary Edwards. What do we got here? Oh, uh, multiple signs there. Oh, I like the napkin holder over there. Yeah, really cool. Great job, Gary. I don't have any specific notes on there. I think the picture kind of speaks for itself. Terrific work. That's great ideas for Christmas gifts, guys. Great job, Gary. Bob Hatch. Check this out. See how big that is? Mm -hmm. Two foot by 14 feet long. Bob is a master sign carver. He's been doing it for years. Um, he's just amazing. He's back in Freiburg, Maine. Uh, he's one of our poster boys. I Does not talk to him the other day. Bob is uh, fantastic. Just a super nice guy. Got to get back to Maine to visit him one of these days. Jimmy Havens. Check this one out. 24 by 36. I love that I like shape. That. I like that artwork on there. Yeah. Just really, so I, I really cool. I was looking cool. at the artwork and I moved the camera. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, great job, Jimmy. Just beautiful work. My gosh. I don't know how many signs Jimmy's done, but... This is, that's a really professional looking sign. Great job, Jimmy. Man, there's some really cool stuff in here. Tessa, Tessa Mathis. Um, so this is uh, for her, uh, what is it? Oh, her stepmom, yeah. And uh, zit to zebra just simply means she's been 20 years working, I guess when you start out uh, volunteering for the hot air balloon deals, they call you a zit. And then when you get to zebra, you are you are a master. So, um, so she works like the, the hot air balloon festivals and stuff. Exactly. And she's been doing it, uh, working Albuquerque hot air balloon festival for 20 years. How cool is that? Great job. That's one of my bucket lists. I want to be able to go up in a hot air balloon. Yep. 
Well, and they say that that one in Albuquerque is world famous mm -hmm. for cool. Um, great job, Tessa. Bruce Stewart. Website is Bruce Stewart woodworking.com uh, old time fine furniture maker and Windsor chairs canoes and signs but man great job on your sign there buddy uh, that just is really really cool obviously very fine woodworker great job Bruce David Brogdon so multiple signs here I like it that's a great way to get a lot of signs in because you guys know I can only take one picture per month per person for the SCOTDs. So if you want more than one sign to show up, uh, make a little collage like that. Great job, David. Beautiful work, buddy. Don Owens. So this is 7, uh, seven inch by 23 inch poplar. Great job. Maybe to go over the top of a door? I'm not sure. Nice shape. Good artwork. Beautiful work, Don. Very nice. Chuck Williams, Texas. Very first sign. Great job, Chuck. Keep up the great work, buddy. Yep, you did good. Lines, yeah. yeah, that's a lot of straight lines, and he followed the line very well. Great job, Chuck. Uh, Casey Plank. Casey Plank. Very nice. I'm sorry. Nice coloring. It's still the top end, bring it back. Oh, it was folding over, huh? There we go. Yeah, and it puts a shadow on it. So. Yep. Okay. Good job, Casey. Beautiful work. Ooh, I like that. Michael Wesley, Fly Shop. It's a great idea. You know, I talk about collaborations all the time. Even if you have to do a, a sign like this for a local... That's first sign? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Um, but this would be a, gr a great way to get your work out there. Even if you have to do it for free, get your work out there. A, a lot of people go into uh, sports shops that would probably love to buy signs. So, great job, Michael. Love it. I don't know if he sold that or that was a giveaway. I don't know. But I know that's a great idea for collaborations. Kim Nash. Kim made a small sign for the inside of the store as a gift, and it led to this order. Yeah. Gosh, what a cool idea. Great job. Look at that. How cool is that? That's a 11 inch by, what, 17 inch? Is that what it says? Yeah. Yep. I didn't write the, the size on the back. Terrific work, Kim. Good picture. Love it. Yeah. That's a great looking sign. Raymond Weber. Only carving for a few weeks. That's a really a neat uh, scene. I like that. That is really cool. I love it. Great job, Raymond. Love it. Last but not least, least, list. <laughs> Gosh, I'm all over the place. Lindsay McKell, first sign, used a Dremel, inset laid beads rather than painting. Mm, wow. That Isn't that takes cool? Patience. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of beads. Great job. Terrific work, Lindsay. Love it. That's it, guys. So that takes us up through September 20. Congratulations to all you sign carvers of the day. And uh, you guys uh, just keep blowing me away. There's so much good ideas here. I hope you guys enjoy these as much as I do, you know, seeing the people's work. I just, I love this stuff. So uh, thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and click that little bell icon so you get notified when we do videos three times a week. I'm on Instagram. That was four times a week. Yeah, four times a week. That's right. We do videos four times a week. I can't keep track anymore. Um, I'm on Instagram every day, Make a Wood Sign. Uh, we're doing all different kinds of things. Uh, if you need supplies, obviously, there's the website. We've got router bits and all the layout letters and all that stuff. So thanks again, guys. Hope you guys have a great week, and we will see you on Wednesday. Yes. Thanks. Bye.